today we're going to be speculating about some of the rumors that are going around the rok community regarding ships coming to the game what's going on guys cheers now before we talk about these rumors my kingdom is recruiting kingdom 1568 we just got out of kvk so far we have three conquest kvks under our belt as a high b low a kingdom the entire kingdom is very kvk focused so we do have fixed mges outside of kvk based on your kvk performance and we have an uncapped mge during kvk obviously as far as requirements go your kill points should be roughly equivalent to your power times five or ten somewhere in that range so if you're a 60 million power player you should have maybe around 300 million kill points and then as far as dead troops you can take your power and divide it by seven or ten somewhere in that range and that should sort of give you an idea about how many deads they're looking for anyway if you're interested in joining my kingdom and playing with me you can go ahead and contact some of the r4s in my alliance rk rin miss mayhem just let them know that you're interested and they you can discuss it further with them don't reach out to me because i am just the messenger i am not responsible for recruiting okay so let's talk about some of the rumors that are floating around the community people are talking about the potential for them to be adding a new c some sort of c battle event and by extension that means that they may be adding some sort of naval battles with warships the developers in the past have mentioned that they were experimenting with some sort of open sea battles but we haven't gotten any official updates on that and we have no official news regarding that but yesterday these rumors started floating around so let's go ahead and take a look at some of just the key bullet points that people are discussing it looks like this open sea battle event could be similar to uh, the Olympia event that we already have in the game apparently you're going to be able to choose a warship and a skill to go along with that and the point of the event I guess is to transport supplies to certain score points and of course your enemy is going to be attempting to do the same thing so in order to prevent them from doing that you can attack and sink their ships now as your ships are taking damage there's going to be I guess certain points around the map that you can recover your ships health or hit points or something like that now there are rumored to be four different types of ships we have supply ships ram ships tank ships and galleons I don't know if these are going to be you know the actual names if this ever is implemented into the game but this looks similar to a rock paper scissors type of system like we already have for troops so the supply ships apparently have a high storage capacity but slow movement speed this reminds me of the siege that we have in game already uh, it looks like when attacked its defenses will be weakened so by the looks of it, it it appears to be like the aquatic version of siege so they're going to be able to transport the most amount of materials which is going to score you the most points i assume is how this uh, game mode could work it won't counter anything it will probably be countered by all other types of ships next we have the ram ships which as the name implies is probably how they're going to deal damage uh it looks like these ships are going to have the highest movement speed which to me sounds like cavalry units they will apparently counter the galleons and be countered by the tank ships which makes a lot of sense the tank ships appear to be as the name implies the most tanky type of ship that you can pick so this sounds to me similar to infantry uh this will counter the ram ship so think about some sort of like Viking boat that deals damage up close the tank ship would obviously counter that if it's covered in some sort of gear or armor plating or something like that and speaking of galleons this is uh, a, a troop that is apparently or a ship that's apparently able to deal damage at range at least that's what these rumors are discussing so when I think of like a galleon ship right I think of some sort of pirate ship with uh either cannons or some sort of like crossbows or big you know ballista bows on the sides of them now there are rumors that these ships could actually deal damage from range so I guess similar to like the Archer Tower if you've ever played the Olympia game mode you can actually deal damage to other ships or other troops at a distance but the downside is that you can't move while doing this uh, and you also can't enter this uh this state if you're already in some sort of combat so this is really interesting right all of this again none of this is official we don't know if this is real or if this is coming but it does pose a lot of questions could ships function like commanders do in the game already are there going to be different rarities of these ships are you going to be able to obtain them by getting fragments or sculptures or blueprints of these ships 
you need 10 just to build the ship will they implement a new chest in the tavern that gives you a random assortment of these fragments or how are we going to be able to obtain these or is this just going to be a standalone event where you're just given access to these ships could these ships have their own equipment system are you going to be able to add different armor or different weapons to ships similar to how you can already add equipment to commanders if they did implement something like that that would be huge for the game that would expand this game's potential in, in a whole new way right like that's almost doubling the amount of of content that's already here it's like a whole new commander and equipment system is it possible that these rumored ships could just be like troops and therefore they will have their own technology within your city will you have to research tier one ships or tier two ships up to tier five because they're going to be a building a new building that comes to your city that is responsible for manufacturing ships it also begs the question will we be able to put commanders on these ships or will we be able to put our troops on these ships how will that work will this be a standalone event or is it going to be incorporated into the combat system as we already know it if that's the case uh will those commander skills work within these ships or during these naval battles perhaps it will work similar to the bastion system where the ship with your commander on it only gets a single skill from that commander perhaps they only get the primary skill and the rest of the battle formula and calculations are all a separate new system now these rumors are just talking about a single event but could this ever be implemented into some sort of kvk feature or could this ever be implemented into osiris or into olympia right there's so many different opportunities for uh, the developers to implement this into various parts of the game to expand and give us something new to enjoy if these rumors are true and if this does ever come to the game this i think would be really exciting i think rok needs a really big update to bring a lot of players back to the game and bring in a lot of new players right a new big market push would be really really important for the game I would love to see that obviously I'm a huge fan of the game right I'm very critical of a lot of the updates that come out from the devs mainly just surrounding the monetization strategy and how I feel that free to play and low spenders are unfairly treated and hence many of them have quit obviously the player base has diminished quite substantially in the last year I think that data is obvious but this could be huge if this is true if this does ever come my question is how pay to win could this be right well you know if there's a new chest in the tavern that gives you these fragments for potentially these ships right assuming that they function like commanders or like equipment and not like troops you know is it going to be a 0.2 percent chance to get a full ship from that summon that's the type of thing that concerns me when we talk about really big updates to the game a system like this if ever implemented again could be extremely exciting for the game and i want it to be good i really do i would love for something like this to add more depth to the game and more options for more players to participate in new events i would love to know your thoughts on these rumors down below do you think that they would ever implement something like this to the game if they did are you excited for it or how how do you feel about their ability to implement this without making it pay to win that's where i am most pessimistic are free to play players going to enjoy this or are they going to continue to be massively outclassed by whales if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rok players might see it if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video and as a reminder my kingdom is recruiting so if you you are interested make sure you go ahead and contact those that are mentioned here with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace